good evening everybody thank you very much for joining in this side this side down magan here is a chief executive officer of treasury consulting llp and this video is in continuous continuation of the earlier videos we shooted which is fra stripping but this time we would be covering a negative scenario for fra in the earlier one we covered the positive scenario for the fra so this video is not going to be very lengthy rather very short video 5 6 minute video but uh, whereby we would be only cover the implications of the losses but we will give you a small uh, recap of that so basically in the earlier video what we discussed there is a company who wanted to take a loan of 1 million dollar which we mentioned here now in this loan the company is facing a spread of 80 80 bips hence forth we rent 0.80% and now company wanted to take a loan one month from now for 24 month which is roughly 2 years so there are two options for the company company would continue to sit and company would continue to think that okay when we would take the loan then we would hedge that there are a lot of ways company can hedge post the loan is in the book example currency swap in which there are three option principal only swap coupon only swap and if we add together then this is a cross currency interest rate swap but what would if there is a scenario in the market that suggests you that the federal reserve is going to increase the interest rate and since federal reserve is going to increase the interest rate the things might go in a different perspective what you are thinking of hence for you decided to cover your exposure but as we earlier discussed in the earlier videos that forward rate agreement is all about interest rate exposure it has nothing to do with uh, any other exposure like uh, you know it has nothing to do with the currencies in simplistic term and we already told you that that the maximum forward rate agreement is is 12 into 24 hence for one year hence forth we are not been able to cover this hence forth we wrote this open so this remains open so you as a corporate treasurer wanted to take a million dollar loan at 0.80% and you are thinking that and you are seriously thinking that things are going to be uh, labor would inch up and since labor would inch up hence forth you want to do hedge now now this is a scene we have taken the same fra rate which we have taken in the earlier videos this is the spread which we are taking here and this is the total i put any one and i i i press f2 and 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 i press f2 now since i prep since i press f2 you know it is a sum of d and e now the sum of d and d and e means the forward rate agreement and the spread right forward rate agreement and the spread now this is the sum now we assuming that the actual libor at the time after the particular one month because you have because you have taken 1 into 2 means one month from now for one month 1 into 3 means one month from now for two months 1 into 4 means one month from now for three months and this would continue and 1 into 23 24 means one month from now for 23 months now the actual libor rate stands this at the time of the maturity basically after one month when we are going to reprice the uh, you know forward rate agreement and when we when we are going to decide whether it is a gain or a loss the spread remains intact we are we again uh, acknowledge that the spread which we are taking from one month to 23 month 0.80% this technically might not be correct because once you will uh, you will uh, take positions from one month to 24 month then the spread will change of course the spread will take change on the other hand here also the spread of 0.80 will surely change that's it's it's something which which we acknowledge but yes due to the in in, in but since for that we need to use lot of financial models and all so hence for we are taking the constant flat uh, constant spread the settlement is going to be sum of two we we all know that which is the sum of actual libor plus spread so this is the settlement which we are having this is the net settlement in dollar terms which we press f2 which is the difference between the basically you are uh, settlement rate minus the booking rate i will repeat again since you have wanted to have a loan in your books so you would be buying fra you bought at 1.30 on the other hand market end up at 1.10 it means the opportunity cost is going negative for you it means had you not hedged yourself you might be in a gain but since you hedge yourself you supposed to be in the losses so this is a loss i again repeat that this column number l which we are taking we are taking an absolute loss into consideration on the other hand in forward rate agreement the particular loss is is a present value 
why we are not covering present value because we as a company tend to disagree with the fact that while doing the present value the banks are using the same reference rate or a fra reference rate which is bits we tend to disagree with this we tend to uh, agree with the fact that while doing the present value the banks are taking different types of uh, present value rates and of course they would continue to change as uh, continue to change as as we as we reach towards the as we reach towards the maturity now why we have shown you negative the answer is very clear because in the earlier videos also we told you that the forward rate agreement is one of the fantastic products but just like overnight index swap which is also an interest rate uh, product both are dependent upon a view so if your view is not turning good you are having a view that you had a view that libor would move libor would inch up but unfortunately that not happened libor not inched up libor went down since libor went down you end up in the losses but the best part with forward rate agreement and ois is that they are available in almost all currency pairs across the globe you just name the currency dollar japanese yen swiss franc australian dollar new zealand dollar canadian dollar singapore dollar chinese yuan indian rupee you just name it that a forward rate agreement you you will get it unless otherwise it is an ndf currency like pakistani rupee vietnami dong and korean won then in that sense there is a probability that it might might not be there so it depends upon a view now why we shown you here your view was that that the libor was going up because of the market circumstances you know that market changed their mood in just a minute but that not had happened now what did happen that interest rate interest rate went down since interest rate went down you had a losses which is you on the buy side of the fra and why this is fra stripping because rather than taking a one position you created a strip out of it believe me in the real terms when we create a strip this is not easy there is a there this is not easy the number one is that the spread the spread which you are taking in number two is that the libor movement spread never remains same on the other hand libor movement never remains flat it is not the parallel shift in the yield curve it is never be the parallel shift in 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 the yield curve it is always non parallel shift in the in the yield curve so forward rate agreement is a very beautiful product corporate treasurer should dealt with but at the same time they should be very very cautious in nature they should not be blind like you know they just want to do it and just they are going for it because if you are going for it you might end up losses here you need to take a very very substantial call and need to take a very very honest call so this was the purpose of the video wherein we taught you that uh, forward rate agreement stripping downwards where you end up in the losses like this this column where you end up in in uh, losses like this in the earlier videos you end up in a gain we would like to thank you very much for your time and we wish you all the very very happy new year you are always welcome to connect with me at 9899242978 and my email id is rahul.magan@trajiconsulting.in our website is www.trajiconsulting.in You are also welcome to join our online courses. We currently have more than approximately twenty-four online courses which we are covering, whereby we cover almost entire gamut of the course. So you are most welcome to join our courses. You just write to us and we'll come to you. In case you you want the copy of our corporate presentation, you can have the copy of our corporate presentation, our corporate presentation as well. we are also very pleased to share that we are launching uh, sorry the up the january 2017 version of the maverick treasure is hitting all uh, internet websites roughly i think 8th or 9th, 9th january 2016 we thank you very much and have a good luck